The work in this exhibition says, this is my body and it's mine. Hello and welcome to Dunlop Art Gallery, situated on Treaty 4 territory in Regina, Saskatchewan. My name is Wendy Peart, I'm the Curator of Education and Community Outreach, and I curated this exhibition called In My Skin. This is a group exhibition of seven artists whose work prompts us to think about what it means to live in our own bodies, what it means to own our own bodies, and to be proud and to love our own bodies. It challenges stereotypes that society puts upon people around what their bodies should look like, feel like, act like, behave like in the world. So welcome and let's talk a little bit about the work in the exhibition. Photographer Ella Cooper positions black women in the mythical Canadian landscape in a state of complete and utter joy. She acknowledges the lack of representation of black people in Canadian history as well as in its representation. What strikes me about this work is the complete sense of joy expressed through the body within the landscape. Regina-based artist Jay Kovach is a queer, disabled, and butch transgendered woman. In her photography, performance, and tattoo work, she confronts commonly held misunderstandings and perceptions about transgendered people. In this photographic series, she presents herself in a state of defiance against such commonly held misperceptions in order to empower herself as well as others within her community. Montreal-based artist Dana Danger looks at how women are still subjugated and objectified in Canadian cultures. For example, in this series called Big Uns, Danger looks at how in hunting cultures, body parts of animals are still equated to certain body parts of women. For example, the racks of the antlers are seen here held by the women, and the word racks itself is still often used to refer to women's bodies. But instead, Dana Danger flips us around and presents to us three very strong, empowered women harnessing that metaphorical and spiritual power that they're given through the antlers that they hold in front of them. Toronto artist Vanessa Dion Fletcher considers how blood is the great unifier between all living animal beings. In this installation, Dion Fletcher creates her own kind of medical exam room not a traditional one that can typically be fraught with fear and anxiety, but one where people can come in and see their own cervix under their own terms and get to know themselves better and care for themselves in a more friendly atmosphere. Edmonton-based artist Risa Gundesen explores the notion of self, how it is enacted daily in our bathroom spaces. Through her paintings of most often herself, she creates these very layered texture paintings that are almost abject, almost repulsive, as a way to get us to respond physically as well as psychologically to her paintings. Through this work, Gundersen questions how notions of beautification, purification, cleansing, and purging that takes place in our bathrooms affect our self-image as well as how it affects our mental well-being and our physical well-being. Zoe Schneider, a Regina-based artist, creates sculptural installations that question perceptions around fat people. In this work, called Grotesque, Schneider creates a simplified grotto, a grotto being an historical underground cave that came to be known for being excessively ornamental and the word grotesque had evolved from that word grotto. So in this work called Grotesque, Zoe is making a comparison between this idea of excess and how people associate fat people with being grotesque or ugly or disgusting. She questions why those attitudes still exist in our society and prompts us to love, embrace, and care for all body types, including fat people. Artist Chantal Miller, who is Canadian born but is currently based in Boston, creates paintings that explore the black experience as it navigates multiple spaces and expectations on a daily basis. In her Stepping Out series, these paintings depict strong yet vulnerable legs as they pass from private to public 
and the consideration of all the notions of self that have to change and navigate what is expected in these different spaces. Ultimately, Miller is concerned with issues of liberation, empowerment, and self-autonomy.